1971. We woke up in a different world, where the Cold War ended along with the Vietnam carnage. All because of the dome. The dome. A territory full of anomalous artifacts, phenomena, and organisms. We still don't know what it is. An alien city? Some kind of a testing ground or storage? Whatever it is, no living thing trapped under the dome can escape it. Yet even this did not stop the research. The major powers created the Cronus Mega Corporation to develop and explore the dome. Its secrets became a lucrative business. The Spire Station was built on top of the dome to export the artifacts and import supplies and personnel. The city of Crystal Sands grew at the foot of the dome, eventually becoming a major transportation hub. All this required thousands of employees, and there was no shortage of candidates. Romantics, pragmatists, and adventurers of all trades swarmed recruiting centers around the globe, seeking jobs at Cronus. You were one of those people. In 1976, your application was approved, and you went under the dome towards the future. Whether a good one or a bad one, only time will tell.
A guy wearing thick spectacles thrusts out a sweaty hand. Monty James, Silverwing. He glances down at your badge. Ah, it's you. I found your file extremely interesting. And your CV, wonderful. I inspiring, really. When I had the opportunity to look over the files of my future colleagues, I couldn't resist. I don't want to sound boastful, but silver level clearance has its advantages. Monty winks. Monty makes a ring with his thumb and forefinger. Uh, you were number 63,784 on the waiting list, but you were lucky enough to get into the dome after only 16 months. Besides that, uh, zero, nada, absolutely nothing. You're a dark horse for both the Foundation and myself. Um, how exactly did you end up in this wing? The awkward smile slowly fades from the Silver's face. Uh, never mind. It's just protocol. Uh, we're told to ask personal questions and gather information in order to form social and business connections. But it's all right. No offense taken. An uncomfortable silence rises between you, and Monty abruptly changes the subject. He taps the narrow illuminator panel with one finger. Uh, look, there's a storm rising. The lightning is strange. Green. Should lightning be green? Uh, this is my first sandstorm.
James spreads his arms regretfully. Ah, you misunderstood. I don't carry the physical copies with me, but I did get a chance to familiarize myself with them. Ask away. Monty presses his plump hands to his chest, as if in prayer. Tamako Kimura from Osaka. A physiologist. She's young, but already has a PhD. James moves so close, his lips are all but brushing your ear. Just between you, me, and that lamppost, Kimura has an older sister, Ayaki. She's currently in jail, and Tamako herself spent two years in prison. But that is strictly, strictly classified. The silver smiles and pats the blue on the shoulder. As the man turns to him, Monty raises his fist in some kind of a weird salute. Gagarin, Sputnik, Cosmos, Mir, Druzhba, Krasin, SSSR, he says in Russian. The blue's mustache twitches and his face wrinkles with a beaming smile. Uh, Mr. Uh, no, Comrade Patanin is from the Soviet Union. He's a highly qualified construction engineer. Took part in planning the spire. He's no spy. Supposedly. Monty explains, turning to you. Elsa Olofsson. Police captain, city of Stockholm. Former captain, to be precise. Dismissed from service because of a conflicting article. Yeah, conflicting. Let's call it that. The Silver says in hushed tones. The Black gives him an unpleasant look, but says nothing. Uh, this is, uh... Monty adjusts his glasses and peers closely at the orange's badge. Ah, Quentin Bisley. Grand Theft Auto three times in one B&E. He was about to go down for 12 years, so he filed for the Clean Slate program. And look at that. They accepted him right away. The Silver shakes his head in disapproval and perplexity. <laughs> Sorry. Classified. <laughs> Monty laughs. He's plainly flattered by your question. Harvard. Then I worked in the economics department at Supercolor. They produced a special television model for commuter buses. Did you know that? That was my research. What else? Well, I like sports. Water aerobics is a sport, isn't it? Uh, I don't smoke and never eat after 6 p.m. Just saying, uh, these kinds of things aren't in the file. So saying, Monty abruptly falls silent. 